world. It is without a doubt the home of everyone, a canvas of life, experiences, natural beauties, and forms of civilization, a place with a beginning and end. But wait, we know that the world started billions of years ago, but how many years are left until the world ends? Climate change is one of the pretty eminent adversities that the world faces, with increasing natural disasters, greenhouse gases, and nearly extinct resources, which may be the near cause of the end. It doesn't stop there. How to cure a world of all inequality, prejudice, and antipathy? How to solve the financial gap, eradicate poverty, and enhance strong intuitions? What if I told you that all of these crises could be solved by 2030? From gender equality, to no poverty, to climate change. A question that has never been answered. How do we save the world? By begging political leaders? Perhaps protests? I have discovered the answer. Now, I'm sure you're all waiting suspensefully to discover the answer. Well, here it is. Adopted by the United Nations Assembly in 2015, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals are a call to action by all countries to solve the world's biggest needs and improve the well-being of everyone, everywhere. This development is conducted without the depletion of scarce natural resources. Most importantly, sustainable development meets the necessities of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet theirs. Now, I'm sure you're all thinking that this is simply about eating plant-based meals and keeping all your trash in a jar. But sustainability and sustainable development goes beyond that. The principles of sustainability are the foundation of what the concept represents. It relies on three pillars, the environment, the economy, and society for achieving a viable, equitable, and bearable world. If something can practice environmental, economic, and social upgrades, then it is practicing sustainable development. All of most developmental goals are driven by one single aspect without weighing the present or future outcomes. Let us see what could be happening in modern society with the use of sustainable development. Recall the infamous World Islands of Dubai, 300 man-made islands off the coast to resemble a palm tree and a world from space. Created in 2003, it emanated as a mega project with $13 billion invested. To this day, nothing is on them. If we look at the world's biggest challenges, the country with the severest famine in the world is Yemen, and it only costs four billion, a third to a system of famine. Now, I want you to imagine yourself as if you were this young Bangladeshi girl. You wake up in a deserted environment, eat breakfast, your only meal of the day, and you head to the infested, filthy, dusty factory where you stab yourself with sharp needles Tears in your eyes, all to earn little or no money. This is the reality for 130 million girls who don't go to school today. Our number is so vast, if it were its own country, it would be the 10th largest in the world. So why can't they just escape? Well, maybe it is because of indefinite persecution and extreme unknown poverty. Their only trace is the markings on the back of your clothing. They are the ones who tailor your everyday fast fashion brands and your catfished articles of clothing. If every girl had the chance to complete a primary school education in Sub-Saharan Africa, the maternal mortality rate could drop down to 70% because women with the education have fewer children. Educating girls as equally as boys could boast developing countries with $112 billion a year, perhaps to fuel these innovative mega-projects. The point is, sustainable development and its three imperative pillars formulated a plan to set off a domino effect to accomplish the world's biggest feats. Dealing with the threat of climate change will let us know how we deal with fragile natural resources and how it affects SDG 14 and 15, land and sea life. Achieving SDG 2, zero hunger, SDG 3, improved health and well-being, and SDG 4, quality education, will eradicate SDG 1, no poverty. Now, you may be wondering, how does sustainable development save the world? Well, the answer is 
businesses. Under the subtags of environmental ethics, some say that implementing them can be taxing and costly. However, sustainable development creates unparalleled value, more without it. An Oxford University study shows that sustainable development lowers 90% the cost of capital for companies. In financing, the cost of capital represents a return a company needs when taking on a new investment. This is vital for businesses not only to in increase trendier and modern practices to enhance consumerism, but to spread positive outlooks. Sustainable development increases 88% of operational performance and 80% of share price performance, although these concepts can vary due to supply and demand in economic model. So, how do businesses practice sustainable development? Business sponsorships increase credibility, public image, and prestige. Partnering up with local and sustainable-friendly companies will not only generate vast profit, which assists the economy. You will also adopt impactful SDG models, whether donating your income to charities, which assists SDG 1, no poverty, or redesigning products to include fewer materials, which helps the environment. Improving the marketing in developed and developing countries will broaden your company and boost employment, which assists SDG 5 and 10, decent work, economic growth, and gender equality. Even the simplest things, like increasing the transparency within your products, will attract consumers, investors, and shareholders, and enhance brand image and competition. In the long term, sustainable development is the sole key to profitability for any business. Businesses are just one way to solve all of the world's problems. Without a doubt, modern societies can incorporate sustainable development into simple life habits, even apathetic teenagers. Start with a few simple tasks, like turning off the lights, using inexpensive reusable equipment, recycling and composting properly, going on bikes and walks which rejuvenate your mentality, and without eating plant-based meals, simply eating that harmless, non-life-threatening, but less attractive piece of fruit that would be wasted otherwise, contributing to a third of all consumable food wasted on the planet. The superficial manipulation in today's world is evident, and we should divert to richer thinking to assimilate inner fulfillment in everyone. Hopefully you've come to understand how sustainable development can solve all of the world's problems. However, there's something vital we should understand. The world's worst crises have benefits. Let me explain. The young girl from Bangladesh is not what I see as unfortunate, but rather a gift to humanity. Her enforced labor is the only way to support the overpopulous world, and her near death allows room for less overpopulation, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help young children in vain. Another example. We all wish for a world with no prejudice, but it only tests our beliefs and acts as a life lesson to help us in the future. Without prejudice, we wouldn't be able to develop richer thinking and allow recognition for undermined problems. If poverty and death from starvation in Yemen didn't just exist from misfortune, it would have to exist to balance the limited natural resources of the world. This is why I have created a three-step procedure to highlight this and accomplish sustainable development. In fact, I did so subconsciously during this presentation. First, we must cut down our resources by doing the simple tasks I've shown you before, so that the children in Yemen aren't on the brink of starvation. Then, we must share the resources across the world by using the answer of businesses. And finally, we must all live in peace by understanding that everything happens for a reason. You now have empathy for the world's crisis, knowing the benefits that they possess to keep us living on the planet. We all say we need climate action and we need the government to work, but we blissfully ignore the fact that we are the reason for the planet's deterioration and acquit that we as beings are doing enough without going all in to begin with. Sustainable development has the answers to solve all of the world's problems. It is in our actions to create change so that the world and future generations can live without suffering from our insensitive actions. And hopefully, one day we are able to live in a world with flourishing beauties and forms of civilization without having to worry about the near end. We simply need to delegate the tasks. Thank you.